Oh my gosh. I don't know if you can see that. I'm in my video. But, oh shoot. Yeah, that guy in the teal shorts right there, that's Rick Ross. <laughs> Yo, I don't know if you guys saw that. Like, I know it's such a small clip. Uh, I'm gonna put the story right here. Morning glory, morning glory. Let's end the weekend strong. If you grind all week, you know how you deserve to go out this weekend, but let's make sure we end this Friday strong with all our business partners, all our homies. You know what it is, everybody who deserve it. Let's go. So as you guys saw, it's like the same pants that he was wearing. I know it's like a stretch. I am beating myself up so much about it that Rick Ross came <laughs> into the store. Uh, to be honest, like seeing celebrities in person is always different. Like, you know, if you see them crowded around people, like it kind of builds up the hype. But when they just come in alone, well, he, he had like, you know, three other people with him. But it's not like people are fanning over him or doing stuff like that so he just seems like a normal dude of course he had like a lot of expensive jewelry on but nonetheless i missed my shot to take a picture or have video recording of him but i also didn't have anything set up so i also didn't want to be that guy who's like hey man can i take a picture uh you know like uh, i just sometimes celebrities don't like that and uh, i would want him to keep shopping with us and kind of feel comfortable not having to feel like, oh, he's gonna walk in and feel like a superstar. I know some celebrities like that, um, but he seemed like a really chill dude. So it uh, seemed pretty cool, but he came, cashed out on four pairs of shoes and then just dipped out. But his manager came and talked to me, said that, you know, they heard it, they heard about the store from a friend. So, and that the manager kind of lives around here. So that's super, super cool that, you know, word of mouth is happening. So beating myself up about it, but hey, first celebrity in the store and it's just awesome. Like, like truly like, dude, God is so awesome. Uh, it's, it's just insane. So I'm, I'm feeling super blessed about that. And, you know, it's just been a busy day with sales and stuff like it's been super, super crazy. Like I didn't film anything today just cause it was insane. But if you guys want to recap, stay tuned right here. All right, so we did one unboxing. The box is already opened, but uh, they did give us some free stickers in this box. So just some random like Supreme uh, stickers that we could put in our box, our little tin can. Um, but yeah, he traded us some Jordan 4 the white oreos now this shoe has been moving like crazy in the store we get people asking about these all the time so this is really good to get in uh, we definitely need some more pairs but uh we traded that one it's a size nine and a half uh, we gave him 240 credit and then he traded towards the turduncans so we had these priced for 250 so he added 10 bucks and we're going to go ahead and ship this pair out uh so thanks steven for you know the deal uh, glad we could work something out uh, but we do have one more bigger unboxing all right guys so we did a trade um he brought this big box but i'll show you guys what's in it uh so the shoes in here will total 1960 the shoes that he's trading for is up to two thousand dollars so he also sent some clothing just because uh he said you know Send, he'll send some clothing, see if we take it for 40 bucks and we could ship him back the rest when we ship him out the shoes. But it looks like we got some stuff in here. So one of the first pairs, which I'm always glad to take, we did get some Nike Dunk Royal Highs. Uh, this is a size four. Let's see what else we got. We have a size eight and a half. Oh yeah. We got a size eight and a half pine green Nike Dunk Low off white. So this is, you know, that was a good ticket number. Uh, looks like he bought it from GOAT. So it's not bad. Some clothing right there. We'll get into it. Um, also gave us a pair of Jordan 6 khakis. There you go. Brand new. All these shoes are brand new. Uh, so it's another good one to have in the store. And the one that I just talked about, we have a size nine in the Jordan 4 white Oreos. 
like I said, these are great in store. So now we have a nine and a nine and a half that's gonna go out. That's always beautiful. Uh, let's see what else we got. Uh, let's see, a size nine, another Nike Dunk Game Royal, brand new. And then we also got a size 11 and a half Game Royal, brand new. And last of the shoes, we have a nine and a half of the Syracuse High Tops. This is another good one to have, another good seller right there. And then he gave us some clothing to pick from. So let's see what this is all about. So we do have an XL Essentials clothing piece. It looks like a shirt. Let's see. Yes, it is a shirt. It's just a green shirt and it just says Essentials on the bottom left corner. But it's a cool green color, super simple. For this being like an XL though, this seems kind of like, oh, this says size medium. So this is a uh, size medium, but it's just in the wrong bag. That's fine though. I was gonna say this almost fits me. For an XL, it's pretty small. We might take that for 40 bucks. I don't know. We'll see what he wants to do with it. But he also sent us some other stuff. Um, I don't know what shirt this is. Oh, it's like a bootleg Nike tee. Cause this is not like authentic Nike, but it's like a bootleg Nike. That's not too bad. It's not something I would pay 40 bucks for, but you know, maybe he, Wants to get rid of it for the low. We'll see. And I do see a medium Nike tee. Just uh, embroidered swoosh. Uh, yeah. This one's not too bad. These ones do pretty decent. But size medium is a tougher size to move. At least in these kind of things. Um, and then lastly, it's a Speedo t-shirt. I'll probably end up sending this one back. Just Speedo's cool and all, but it just doesn't sell for us. So... It's definitely something I probably want to send back to him. And then lastly, it says to Andrew and Sabrina, he mentioned he was going to get us some t-shirts. So, um, you know, I said he didn't have to, but he insisted. So we'll see, Let's see what we're working with. And then he gave us a card. It says his glory is above the earth and heavens. Uh, Psalm 148 verse 13. Um, dang, uh, it's a long letter. I'm not going to, um, read this to you guys. It seems a little bit more personal. So, um, but just know that he did send that to us, but he did give us some shirts. Oh, that's cool. Uh, it says Trinity youth, 1993 Galatians, Christ lives in me. So this is a vintage t-shirt. Um, so that's pretty cool. We got a good little vintage tea with also some stickers. It says Jesus saves seeds of love. And lastly, he got me a shirt too. It says we need God in America again. And then the back says we need God in America again. This one's kind of cool. <laughs> the back is, is a crazy hit. Um, I think I just got to stretch this out. This one might fit me. I don't know. We got to see. But Alex, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the free tees. Thank you for the deal. Uh, by the way, this is what he's trading towards. Dang. He's trading towards the Jordan 3 Souls or the Jordan 3 Koreas, whatever you want to call it. This pair was super, super rare. As you guys saw in my last video, we did pick them up. But as you know, they come in and they go out. So we have this at $2,000. Legit checked everything. It's a very, very rare shoe. So he was super happy that we had it in his size range and so he wanted to trade towards it and yeah now we got all this good stuff we got stuff to hold on to got some vintage and we get to ship him out a pair that's going to be one of his grails forever so it's always awesome that we can do that for people work out some deals and yeah all right so like i said today was kind of busy we did pick up a decent amount of stuff nothing like super super crazy uh so this is going to be like our photo of the day this is how we set it up so picked up all these pairs um so you guys saw that we got this from the trade but we did pick up a pair of laney ones ds now if you guys don't know about this shoe laney is uh, michael jordan's high school and his school colors were blue and yellow so that's why 
All of the Laney collab, or not collabs, all the Laney colorways are blue and yellow to pay homage to his high school. So sneaker fact right there. Now these have shot up in price. They were going for like retail back in the day. They released in like 2013, but now, um, man, I think we paid like 400 bucks for this guy. I think they're sitting around like 750, which is insane. Just, it's crazy. Uh, this one is a fire pickup. The Jordan 1 UNC's size 9, also DS. We picked this one up for 680. I believe they're going for anywhere from like 900 to 1000 right now. So that's not too, too bad. And then all the other stuff we picked up from him, uh, it was a pretty good deal. So we picked up the Jordan 1 Bloodlines. They're used, but it looked like he wore them like once. They're super, super clean. We picked them up for 180. Jordan 6 Carmine, but the 2014 edition, brand new, also size 9. Uh, we traded, pretty much gave him 170 store credit for that one. And then over here, we picked up a lot more of the older retros. So um, a Jordan 6 white infrared. I think we paid about 100 for this guy. The Jordan 6 maroon. This one is in pretty good condition. It was worn once. Like this one was worn very lightly too. So we paid 100 for this guy. We paid 110 for this guy. And then we have some other shoes that you don't really ever, ever see. The Jordan 7 Cardinals. Usually when I see this pair, it's so beat up or something wrong with it. Scuffs, chip paints, whatever. They're worn lightly, but man, they're in good condition too. So we paid about 100 on that guy. Jordan 8 Bugs Bunny. Maybe they'll sell with the Space Jam movie that came out already. Lightly worn. This one we also paid 100. Uh, brand new Bobcat 10s. This is another one you don't really see, especially brand new. It's icy on the bottom still. So I forget how much we paid for this one. Um, all right, so one of the shoes that I really, really love, the Jordan 12 flu game. Now, I know they call the newer one flu game, but to me, this is the flu game Jordan 12. It's got the 9738. It's got the sick tongue. So 9738, it's 1997. That was the year, and he scored 38 points while having a flu-like symptom game. Now, it was rumored that it was actually food poisoning, not necessarily that he had the flu. So, kind of different, but this pair is awesome. It's a new buck. Super, super nice new buck. This pair is used, but there's like no sole separation. It's it's honestly in amazing condition. Uh, we picked it up for 150 And then some playoff Jordan 13s. Pretty good condition. Also picked it up for about 100 Jordan 14 Thunders, another one that you know you don't really see too often we picked that up also for like around another 100 bucks so a lot of those retros we picked up for 100 in that deal he also gave us the jordan 4 royalties which we picked up for i think around like 110 for that guy this shoe always weirds me out the prices on this are all over the place uh like you guys saw we picked up the two oreos the sixes and the syracuse the only other one that you guys didn't see is this pair of jordan 8 aquas now, DS, these are reaching like 400 bucks, which is crazy. This one being used, uh, I offered him 140 credit because I think we could sell it for about 200, uh, 220 maybe on eBay. So we picked all that up. And the only other thing we picked up so far is this. Um, it's a vintage Lakers uh, like warm up shirt. Let me see if I can. Put on the ground right there so vintage lakers warm-up shirt it's from like the 2000s so um it's not like super super crazy but it's still a cool piece we picked up for 30 we're gonna flip it for 60. usually that's how it is for clothing we try and get at least like 50 percent of what we're gonna sell it for just because clothing doesn't really sell the fastest all the time but you know and we got a couple sales today too sold like a jersey sold a couple shoes like i said rick ross came through <laughs> So, so cool to say that man um but yeah so i know that this was like a quick one day but hopefully tomorrow saturday uh, with these new pairs posted and some stuff going on hopefully saturday we'll pick up and we'll try and record for you guys are you looking, uh, are you looking for store credit or trying to get cash, uh, cash? Yeah. i told you uh 
sent a message for 240 and then Okay, how long ago was that? Just wanted to make sure. It goes on the, on the weekend. That's cool. So, so I got this right here. I don't know if you guys are buying that for a Um, I mean, if we are, it's just like really cheap. Like, yeah, like, 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 is that used? No, it's brand like, new. Yeah. And then, were you looking for cash or store credit on this guy? Uh, it depends. How much would you give me for cash? Uh, I could do like 230 cash or like 250 store credit. Mm, I'll just hold off on it. Gotcha. Where are we trying to get out of them? Like 270 around there. 270 for sure. Both of them together? Oh, yeah. yeah they're so so they're everything that's not good to go to that. Bam. Have a good one. Appreciate it. Have a good one. Thanks, Thanks dude. And did you have like prices in mind for any of them? Um, so like two, two twenty, uh, three eighty, and then these ones I'm not too sure what they're going for. Sorry, right. around like three of these. Gotcha. Um, can you do one ninety on this guy? One ninety. Yeah. Okay. One ninety. And then you said two twenty on that guy. That's cool. Right now, I'd probably gonna get like 250 on these guys. Yeah, think about this one. Yeah, no worries. Uh, just for right now, I'm just gonna hold off on these guys. Um, I'm just like 50-50 on them right now, so I'm just gonna like what I do. Said like 150. Mm -hmm. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, you guys come back and. I was like, we bought some, like, let's bring him some more. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I have a pair of each. basically right now in my car. Can you do 185? If you want to do 180 each. Oh, yeah. There he goes. Let's have an abnormal amount of <laughs> labels coming. Jeez. Well, this is fun. Oh, boy. Right. Dang, that's crazy, man. Well, the crazy thing is that we already shipped out all of these pairs too, right here. So, we got boxes. Still going. Boxes? Still going. Oh, whoa. Boxes and boxes. All right, guys, so now it's Monday. Saturday was nuts. We only filmed a few of them, and that's saying a lot. Like, I don't know if you guys have seen our last Instagram post, but we picked up, like, a lot, a lot of heat. So, like, one of them being, like, the Jordan 1 Breads 2016, and then we got Jordan 1 Shattered Backboards, the OGs. Look at that glitter. Glitter, glitter. We also picked up a DS pair of Bread 1s 2013, though. We also have some unions, other unions, Supreme 
SB Dunks. Rookie of the Year Dead Stock. It's hard to find these brand new nowadays. Uh, and then we also picked up, you know, some some DS off white um, UNC ones. And then we also just have like other stuff that's here out on the floor. Um, you know, some neutral gray highs. A lot of people do like this shoe. Um, pick these reverse uh, Papa Bear SBs. The Dusty Olives, people love the Dusty Olives. Classic black and white dunks too. Another shoe that's been doing super, super well, some Jordan 4, the white Oreos. They sell out for us all the time. Uh, some DS Medicom dunks, the new UNC ones. Not the biggest fan of these, to be honest. Uh, also Travis Air Max 270s uh, and a used pair of Jordan 1 Mocha size 12. So, you know, picked up a lot of stuff. Uh, we already sold a lot of stuff too. So as soon as we opened, we had like a straight 30 minute rush. Uh, we sold FTC dunks that we bought last night. We had somebody waiting here in the morning who bought some Jordan 1 Lowe's and also some Jordan 3 chlorophylls that we had for a steal. They were like nine out of 10 condition. We paid 60 bucks for them. We listed them for a hundred, uh, gone. We had another customer come in for that pair. He was late, ended up buying a shirt anyways. So that was really cool. And then what else did we sell? Someone traded towards some off-white pine green dunks that we had. And then we had uh, someone buy a pair of these, but we had a used pair of these. Uh, I think we had them for 380, it was a size 10. So we got that gone, but now we have this size nine in the store. So a lot of stuff going on. And then we also sold these online. So over the weekend, we sold a little bit, not too, too crazy, but we sold uh, these for in-store pickup. So if you guys shop on our on our website, shop holy ground or holygroundshop.com, you can always select in-store pickup if you're ever in the area. And then Jordan 8 Aquas, we had them listed for 200, which is a pretty good deal. I think ones in this condition are going for about 240 to 280. So 200 was a good deal. These sold on our website. We also sold these on eBay for 240 pre-owned but they're worn like one time they're super super clean we also sold some kobe bruce lee's 335 for the size eight so we sold these on ebay also we sold these yeezy 500 blushes for 180 on ebay as well we sell mostly all of our used stuff on ebay sometimes we'll list some some ds stuff but it's hard to keep up now with the shop starting to pop off but jordan 14 thunder size 9 180 i thought that was another good deal so um, we did cash out on like this, a lot of random size nine pairs. I think I showed you guys in that video. Um, a lot of people are like, why would you buy that? Those are bricks. They're not that great. They're, you know, who buys, you know, cause most people want just dunks or Jordan one highs and like Yeezy slides, which I guess like, that's what we sell a lot of. And so I always try and get more, but like random stuff that's like older Jordans, they move, they sell people love that era. Like, I'm pretty sure once we list these on eBay, like these are gonna fly. The Maroon 6s, it's a great shoe. It's a really good shoe. Um, we have them for 180. That's a, to me, that's a stupid steal. I see them going for about like 220, 250. Uh, I've even seen some sell for 280 for, you know, pairs in that condition. Uh, we also have the white infrareds, like almost dead stock, worn once for 180. Like the toe cap is like a little, little yellowing, but that happens sometimes. That could be fixed easily. Like, dude, when was the last time you, like some of you guys probably don't even know what the shoe is. The Jordan 7 Cardinal, like they don't even make Jordan 7s anymore right now. Like it's just, it's, it's just, it's something else. So anyways, we buy those because they sell, they do well on eBay We had, and we haven't even posted them on eBay, but I guess people around our area like that stuff too. So, you know, it goes to show you like, just because it's not hype doesn't mean it doesn't have money to be made. And also like, if you price it right, it'll sell fast. So if that's the thing that you're into, like trying to sell them fast, get them out the door, sure, try and focus on all the hype stuff. Um, but you know, for our store, I love having the variety of stuff too. So yeah, other than that, we'll see what else we get into and we'll keep you guys updated. All right, well, if you guys have made it to this point in the video, I just wanna say thank you guys so much. You guys are honestly the reason why I keep making videos because I know that you guys are watching them and you guys love them. You guys are supporting us, the shop and honestly like it's just been a blessing i know i know it's been like two weeks per video and it's i'm i'm lagging but the shop has been 
you know, getting really busy and we're finally catching up on some stuff. We got Kobe's coming up this week. So the video that you just watched was probably, man, like almost a month old. So when you guys are watching that stuff, that's probably why the prices are totally different. Some of it might seem like I'm lowballing now. If you guys are watching, you know, I said two, like 240 on a pair of Oreo fours. Now they're at like almost 400, like 350, 380. Anyways, all that to say, I just want to say thank you guys for watching. Thank you for all the support. Um, like I said in the video, you can go ahead, still check out our website. It's totally different from what you guys are going to see. We still have some of that stuff. Um, but yeah, check us out, www.holygroundshop.com and check out our Instagram. We up that we update that every single night, like literally every single night of all the new product. So don't miss out. It's at Holy Ground Shop on Instagram. But with all that being said, like I said, I just want to apologize for the late uploads and all that stuff. I'm not going anywhere. We're not stopping the YouTube. So don't freak out about that. Uh, we're here to stay. It's just, we got a lot of stuff going on. We got t-shirts, we got sneaker events. We got um, just a lot of different, you know, ideas and things that are good for us, but it's keeping me really busy. So hopefully you guys understand, but I'm going to try and keep uploading as much as I can. You know, maybe I got to uh, go back and hire another video editor or something like that. I don't know, but um, right now that's just kind of like, like YouTube is a focus. It's just not the top focus, uh, customer services. And so I'm trying to, you know, balance the differences. So hopefully you guys understand, but with all that being said, we'll catch you guys on the next video, which will also be a little bit older footage, but hopefully you guys still enjoy it. So anyways, peace out y'all. See you guys at the store. See you guys at sneaker events and all that stuff, but don't worry. We'll make some more videos soon.